Hello and welcome to 2 Minute Design. I'm Dage and let's create this. Open up Photoshop and create a new document. Click Print, set the color mode as you want, set the background to white, and then hit Create. Drag a photo and drop it on the canvas. Resize it and press Enter to confirm. In the Layers panel, click here to add an adjustment layer and then choose black and white. Hold down the shift key and click on the photo layer to select both layers, right click and convert them to a smart object. Click here to add a new layer, activate the rectangular marquee tool, create a selection on the left side, make sure the foreground color is set to black, and then hit alt backspace or option delete to fill the selection with the foreground color. Press ctrl or command D to deselect. Activate the type tool, click once on the canvas, choose a font, Set the font size as you want, align it to the right, I'll change its color to something like that, and then type in some text, but press enter after each word so that each word is on a separate line. Ctrl or Command A to select all the text, and then click here to open the characters panel, and you can use these settings to control the character width and height, and edit the leading value, which is the distance between the lines of text. Activate the move tool and reposition the text. You can double click on the text layer and add another word if you want. Now activate the photo layer, press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate it, put it on top of the text layer, hold down Alt or Option, hover the cursor between the two layers and when you see this icon, click once to create a clipping mask. Activate the type tool again, click and drag to create a text box on the canvas. I'll decrease the font size a little bit and then simply press and hold the forward slash button. Control or Command A, click here to change the color, and I'll set it to white. Click this checkbox to confirm, and let's create another text box here. Let's type in some text. With the move tool and using the arrows on your keyboard, you can adjust its position. I'll decrease the font size a little bit. And then using the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle around the text. Change its fill color to solid white, and the stroke color to none, and then drag it below the text layer. Now we can't see anything because our text is white. Click on it once, and from the character panel you can change its color to something else. And that's it.